Hello and welcome back. I'm here. I'm Katie. This is Loud Creations and I am checking in on my Scarborough Fair mead that I started two weeks ago to the day. This might be a little early to check in on it, but um, I just want to take a gravity reading, see where it's at. Kind of want to take it off the lemon peel and put it into another container for aging. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to just, I'm going to start with taking a gravity reading. Okay, here we go. Ooh, sticky. This one took off. So there's some gunk on the airlock and stuff. Okay, so this this is pretty much dried out. It's at 0 0.998. I know it's only been two weeks, but hey, I'm going to try it. It's interesting. It's very interesting. I mean, parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme in a mead. It's pretty unique. I also put lemon peel in here, and it actually tastes pretty good. Considering that it's only two weeks in. Let's see what the ABV is at this point. Okay, so this is 11.68%, which is basically what I was going for. I'm trying to get some lower ABV stuff going. And if I want to back sweeten it, I can, but I will stabilize it before I do that. I'm going to go ahead and rack this out of this container and put it in my little, hopefully this container is big enough. This is a three quarter of a gallon container. Oh my gosh. I have all this stuff here. What am I doing? I'm going to put this up here. I'm checking in on a lot of meads today. As you can see, I have equipment laying around. Um, and this is the final one. And I have to say, it's the best tasting one so far. <laughs> Which surprises me, because I wasn't so sure. Might have to lose a little bit of this if this container is too small. Basically what I'm going to do is put it in here, make note of the gravity reading, and I'm going to let it sit for a couple months and get back to it um, after it's cleared out a little bit because it's still pretty murky. Well, I'm wasting kind of a lot. That's too bad. Um, this is the only, I mean, I could have put it in another one of these, but I didn't. So that's that with this. I'm going to just let it, let it. Yeah. Don't do that at home. That's that's probably not advised <laughs> or not advisable. Um, anyway, I filled it up to the the brim, so I filled it up to the rim with brim. Is that a uh, okay? And then I have my large bung that I use for these. I'm gonna go ahead and oh yeah, you can see all the gases bubbling out. 
I'm gonna go ahead and wash this off. Boom. Here it is. Oh, other thing. I'm gonna take my label, put it on here, and I'm gonna add the information from today. Oh, that's not gonna work. So we are at 0 0.998, which gives us, how did I say? 11 something percent ABV. Perfect. Yes, yes, and okay, well that does it for my Scarborough Fairmead racking. I'm gonna let this sit for a couple months and I will be back with a tasting probably by the end of April. I have high hopes again for this one. This one actually tastes pretty good uh, considering it's only two weeks old. So um, it's a very unique meat. I've not made one like this before. I hope this video is useful and I will see you next time. Thank you.